You see, I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to say because it lines up with my faith. If I could change one thing about my life, I would have trusted God sooner. I would have taken him at his word sooner. I'm telling you, if I could do one thing differently, I would have believed him sooner. And it doesn't mean that I didn't believe in him. It doesn't even mean that I didn't love him previously and in my early years. But it does mean that I didn't believe him. I thought his word was outdated and didn't fit my current experience of life. I believed lies that, you know, gave the idea that the Bible didn't have this authority, the authority that it genuinely does have. And in many of ways, I believe that that points to a lot of delay. But it's okay. It is a-okay because now as I look back over my life, I have so much more wisdom and I know the power of trusting in God. I know that his word is true and that he cannot lie because he is the truth. His word has never come in back to me void. It doesn't go back to him void, but it has never come in back to me void. Every time I've sinned and fallen short, and missed the mark (laughs) I've gotten so much wiser because I'd be I'd turn around and say oh this is why you say in your word x y and z this is why you say in your word we should do this this is why you say in your word put you first this is why you say in your word acknowledge you and all that we do and you shall direct our paths this is why you say that if we live according to your law of love We will inherit all of the blessings and the treasures that we desire, both eternal and in time. Because it is the truth. How can you do something contrary to the goodness of God, which is goodness in and of itself, and expect goodness, expect fulfillment? For example, it's like cheating on every single exam you've ever had and then believing that you'll have the confidence to actually perform on the day that you need to perform and communicate the material that you didn't study, so you chose to cheat to achieve. Does that make sense? It just doesn't work. Yes, you might have gotten the letter grade. Yes, you might have scored the score that you needed, but you did not have the truth with you, meaning there's some level of insecurity and lack of confidence there. But when God gives it, God gives it for real. God gives it for real. That's just the reality. And it comes with confidence. It comes with security because he is the eternal rock, firm foundation. The rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaken. I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. He's never let me down. He's faithful through generations. So why would he stop now? He won't. Amen. He won't. So, yeah, if I could change one thing about my life, I just would have taken him at his word sooner. I would have trusted him sooner. Because in doing so, I had to be born again. I had to be born again. I had to accept and adopt this new nature that he was birthing in me, this spiritual nature that really just does not move by the patterns of this world, but it has been, I've been renewed by his spirit, transformed by his spirit. And this is not to brag and say oh i'm special you're not no this is accessible to everybody there's no middleman involved you can fall to your knees right now say jesus change me jesus show me who you are jesus i need you and he's there we have the ability and the power and the authority to experience eternity in this very moment god has placed eternity in each and every one of our hearts and we're all searching to fill that void and none of us can fill it unless it is filled by the only one who is the living water Y'all, if I could change anything, I would have taken him at his word 
sooner. For example, another example, this whole debacle about sororities and stuff. When I joined a sorority, it was for a lot of reasons. The main ones being I wanted the strong sisterhood and friendship that I saw outside looking in. I wanted the um, network. It seemed like very good for your career and profession. What else did I want from it? The, the confidence. It seemed like all of them were so confident in who they were and everything. And I was like, ooh, like that'll do it. Tell me why. <laughs> because I decided to go and trust something of this world with those very delicate and intimate areas of my life. It was as if I forfeited what God was already doing in each and every one of those areas. Allowing for the enemy to do what he does, still kill and destroy. And this is just me being real. This is the reality of not trusting God and taking him at his word. Because I kid you not, I remember hearing people all over being like, well, God could give you that. God could give you that. And I was like, well, this is the vehicle. This is how God going to do it, you know? And it's like, it turned out to be like, no, you can really trust God alone and allow for him to be the connecting piece. Because everything that I wanted in that, I got none of it. If anything, I, I ain't even going to get into it. But from God, I have the network, the friendships, the the mentorship, all by the connection of Christ. And it comes second to none because I can trust each and every one of these relationships that have been established in him. The flesh and the spirit are two different things. The flesh is dying before our very eyes, but the spirit is eternal and everybody knows it even if they're not necessarily tapping into it in a holy manner, everybody knows it. There's something spiritual about this experience on earth. But there is a right way to go about the spirit. So, as believers first, let's not only believe in God, but let's take some time to believe God, to take him at his word, to taste and see that he is good, to recognize that he is not a liar, to understand that he knows because he is the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. Let's actually believe who he is, who he says he is and what he says. And let's live our lives according to that and that we'll really experience the abundant fruit that comes from it. I pray that this blesses somebody.